Hello everybody, today I will present our recent work on classifying the post-duplication fate of polygast genes. Uh, here we try to propose a general framework uh, to classify post-duplication fates. Uh, gene duplication is a macroevolutionary event that, uh, that is one of the main sources of genome evolutions. Actually, in gene duplication, uh, you create new gene, and new genes can bring, uh, bring up new function and new forms. And these duplicated genes can undergo various evolution and different fates. Just after gene duplication, the duplicated genes are the same as initial genomes. For example, here the color of a gene represents the function of a gene. And these duplicated genes, uh, after sequence evolution, can undergo six different fates. The first one called uh, the first the first one called pseudogenization, where one of the duplicated genes loses its function. The second one called no functionalization, where one of the duplicated genes find new function. The third one called double no functionalization, where both of the duplicated genes find a new function, which are different from each other and different from the original gene function. Another fate called conservation, where both of the duplicated genes conserve the function of original gene. And the subfunctionalization fate, both of the duplicated genes share the function of original gene, or in other words, the duplicated genes together perform the same function as original gene. And the specialization, where both of the duplicated genes uh, together perform the same function as original gene, and also they find new functions. Uh, to mention main challenge in this area, most of the works have focused on understanding the role of the uh, duplication, but actually there is no rigorous framework. So based on that, we try to propose a general framework to classify post-duplication phase. In our framework, how we model gene? We consider a certain function by f that can be discrete or continuous, and a gene g expects some function of f to some degree. For example, g alpha represents the expression level of function alpha or in other words, how much of GA contributes to perform function alpha. So uh, to make it simple, we just visualize with, with a triangle where uh, x axis represent the function and y axis represent the expression level. To infer the fate of polygus, uh, our model is based on comparing of, uh, comparing of function the polygus genes A and B and their lowest common ancestor. So first, uh, we just, uh, to define some variables, we consider G and H as two different genes. So H intersect H represent the intersection between of, function, of G and H functions. And IGH represent the percentage area of G that is covered by H. And G plus H represent the function addi addition of uh, G and H functions. Uh, the first way was pseudogenization. Uh, for example, here the B loses its function and, is, uh, and uh, the expression level of B has uh, decreased. Uh, so, so the percentage area of G that is covered by B is close to zero. So we had, uh, this, we, we infer this situation as the genization. And no functionalization, the B finds new function. Uh, the, so the percentage area of B that is covered by G is zero. So this situation would be no functionalization. And for double no functionalization, both of the A and B finds new, uh, find new functions. So all of the I values here are zero. So this situation are double no functionalization. For the conservation, A and B conserve the G. So here all of the I values are one. So this situation would be conservation. And for the sub functionalization, uh, a and B together perform same function as G. So we, here we expect the percentage area of G that is covered by A plus B uh, to be 1. So this situation would be in a sub functionalization. And for the specialization, A and B together perform same function as G and also they find new function. For example, here uh, the percentage area of, B, I, of A and B that is covered by G B should be bigger than zero but not close to one to infer new function and also the percentage area of g that is covered by a plus b should be one how we compute fate of polygons in a gene tree so to compute fate we need a triple combination of g a and b a and b as a polygons gene and g as a lowest common ancestor so for example here we consider root of the tree as a du uh, uh, duplication event 
and then we uh, consider all of the left descendants as the a and all of the right descendants as a b and we compute and then we compute the fate probability for any combination of g a i and b g and uh, and finally, by getting average over all of these combinations, we will find uh, the probability for each uh, each of the fates. And, and to test our framework, we use eval, uh, which is a population-based simulator. So in eval, populations uh, uh, include genomes, and genomes include genes, and genes are translated to triangles, uh, which represent their function. And each triangle has three main parameters, height of the triangle, mean of the triangle, and width of the triangle. More widths means more function are covered by a gene. And actually, by increasing the width of the triangle, we are increasing the pleurotrop level, which is multiple traits of liver organisms that are affected by a gene. In eval, we are able to set a maximum value for a width of the triangle that called Wmax. So the width of the, uh, width of the triangle can change between 0 and Wmax. And finally, uh, to calculate the fitness of all of the organisms, uh, we need to compare the sum of the, tri uh, sum of the triangles by a, a target function that called environment. And before I start simulating, uh, we need uh, some initial genomes that called wild types. So we create four wild types with four different uh, Wmax uh, that are evolved for one million generation in environment A. And also in our simulation, we consider four different environments. Environment A, which is the same environment as the environment of initial genomes, and environment B, C, and D that are changed more respectively with respect to the environment A. To see some results, uh, when the environment uh, is the envir same environment as the initial genomes, the rate of the gene duplication uh, is low, but when we change the environment, the rate of the uh, gene duplication will increase. And also, the uh, rate of the gene duplication decreases as the Wmax increases. Uh, when the environment uh, is the same environment as the uh, initial genomes, the most frequent fate is suggenization. But we, when we but when, when we change the environment, the most frequent fates uh, are uh, double non-functionalization and no functionalization. We can consider some work as a future work. Uh, for example, we observe a small fraction of hybrid fates that can be interesting to study. And also we like to classify post-duplication fate of uh, real data uh, using our approach for future work. And thank you so much.